Hello my creative friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm happy to be part of the Simon's Stamp Block Hub as we celebrate the latest release and I'm starting with one of those lovely background stamps. I like those patterns because they can be very versatile and can be used all year round. It does have some hearts but it doesn't scream Valentine's Day. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm playing with a background stamp is to do embossing. It never gets old to me and it is always magical, no matter how many years I have been playing with this technique. So I have a white piece of cardstock here. This is very smooth cardstock and I did prep the cardstock by using over it my anti-static powder bag just to make sure that my embossing powder is not going to stick all over the place. I'm using my Versa marking and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it a couple of times just to get a good impression. Of course this is a big stamp so it is always handy to use a misty just in case you need to re-stamp it again. And then I'm going to apply on top my white embossing powder. You can definitely do that with clear embossing powder, it's going to give you the exact same effect. So once I have covered up all my stamped images, I'm going to use my heat gun and make sure that everything is melted. Uh, it is really easy to see it in real life because you can catch the light and where the embossing powder is melted, it is shiny. And now let's have some fun with emboss resist. You can do that with your dye ink pads. I'm using one of the new colors of my dye ink pads from my latest Stamperia collection and this is raspberry, a beautiful color and I'm going to mix it by using a blending brush to get a lovely soft effect and at the same time that allows me to blend other colors easier uh, when they touch each other. And now I have moved on to another new color from my collection and this is warm red. And when it comes to techniques, uh, this is definitely my favorite technique, emboss resist. I mean, what's not to love? You combine your stamps, your embossing powders, your blending tools and your inks. So you have everything there. Now I'm going to throw in a third color for my background. This time I'm going with warm yellow. And again, it blends beautifully with the warm red, creating kind of an orange in between. So this is how my background looks. I'm going to use a rectangle die and cut out a panel, which is going to be the background for my card. I like to secure down my die by using a very low tack tape, and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. So here is the background ready to go, which I'm going to stick by using foam tape at the back on top of my card base. My card base, by the way, is four and a quarter by five and a half, so a standard card base. And uh, now it's time to embellish it a little bit at the top. For that, I'm going to use a sentiment from a new stamp set from this release by Simon Says Stamp. This stamp set is called From the Heart Messages. And if you can tell, these all sentiments fit on a heart die cut. So I used the hard die from my stash and I went with a small size, I didn't want to go with a bigger size to cover up that beautiful background. So I'm going to pick one of the tiny sentiments and stamp it on top of my die cut heart by using black ink. I'm using my black shadow ink which is perfect for stamping sentiments as it becomes really vibrant and uh, very crisp. So as you can tell, I'm going for a clean and simple look today. I'm going to use foam tape at the back of my heart and just stick it there. And you can definitely stop here. The background is just gorgeous. You can see here I'm just auditioning the heart, trying to decide where I want this to go. And finally, just to embellish it a little bit more, I did cut out some branches of leaves. I'm sure you all have some leaves in your stars and they are always perfect to embellish and add a touch of something extra without overwhelming the design. So here I'm just going to stick one at the top and one of the bottom just to kind of uh, balance it out a little bit with the heart. And again, these leaves are quite tiny since I don't want to overwhelm the background with those elements that I stick on top as I like to be able to see that beautiful blending there. And finally, some uh, finishing touches, just adding a few gems here and there to embellish it a little bit more. And I'm going to call this card done. Just like always, down below in the description you can find links to everything I used. Make sure to visit my blog and join the blog hub, there are many giveaways. 
Don't forget to like the video, to leave me a comment and all that. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely weekend.